Hello there and welcome to the High School Roundup Preps KC Weekend Recap. Kenitra Williams, Mick Schaefer, and oh yeah, Kansas finally joined the mix this week. And so we have a Sunflower-centric game of the week. That's right, it was Mill Valley at Aquinas. Two of the top ranked teams in Kansas 5A. Be an EKL game next season. Pronounced two good teams. Early first quarter, Carter Oderman with the pitch out to Jacob Likem. Yeah, he likes them. Eight-yard touchdown run, 6-0 Aquinas. Logan Cook from Mill Valley down the sidelines, too. His partner in crime, Christian Jagan. 26-yard touchdown, 7-6 Jags on top. Early second quarter, Cook with a jump pass to Lucas Kroll, and he is a big, big boy. 28-yard touchdown, Mill Valley takes a 14-6 lead. Oderman with the one-yard plunge there. Aquinas cuts into the lead, down by two. Jags do the same, though. Fourth and goal, watch this. Cook outracing four. Aquinas players to the pylon, he wins. And then more Cook, rumbling. 22 yards this time for the touchdown. Mill Valley takes a 16-point lead into the fourth quarter. Middle of the fourth, they put it away. Cook on the QB keeper. Makes a couple of moves, takes it 36 yards for another touchdown. Mill Valley would win this thing 38 to 20. Great win on the road for that program. Fort Osage is the number one team in the Super 25, taking on a 2-0 Lee Summit team. That is K-State commit Skylar Thompson quarterbacking things for Fort Osage. First quarter, Indian second drive. Thompson rolls out, flings it to Kevin Rush, who scampers down the sideline for another 10 yards, another first down. Same drive, second and goal for Fort. Thompson fires it to Matt Smith on the slant for the wide open score, 7-0 for Osage. Tigers turn. First play of the drive, Dalton Hill flips the field when he calls his own number, cutting through the Indians' defense, skating down the sideline, gets pushed out of bounds after the stiff arm, but there's some more. Oh, take that, cheap shot. He's like, I'll take it. I'll take 15 more yards to go with it. Thank you very much. Second and goal for Lee Summit. Hill on the option, decides to keep it, dives for the pylon. It is good. 7-7 seven, seven late first quarter. Second quarter, next four drive. Thompson drops back, can't find a man open, scrambles, decides to keep it, making a pair of defenders miss. But the Tigers corral and punch mm. the ball loose. Lee Summit recovers. It was tied 7-7 seven, seven at halftime, but Fort Osage turns it on second half to win 28-14. Rockers wearing all blues at home against Bentonville, Arkansas, where it was uh, Braveheart Bro Night, apparently, at Rockhurst. Check out Bentonville's quarterback, Casey Ford, 6'6", 270 pounds, quarterback, getting major D1 looks. Andrew Kilo says, I don't care about that, Mickey. Rockers for the new quarterback, Tyler Benninghoff, broken collarbone, enter Chance May. Well, Bentonville eating that up. Back to Ford, he is gigantic. Bentonville is, they're basically Walmart High School, always good teams. Always. Bentonville, save money, live better. Touchdown. Their mascot is like an old guy, Walmart greeter, actually. Uh, no, just kidding. Forward back to pass. Hawklets finally get to him. Takes seven of them to bring him down. Rockers just can't catch a break. Austin Wyke with the fumble. Bentonville ball, rolling back prices, rolling out huge quarterbacks. Ford finds Cameron Mays Hunt. Touchdown. 14 nothing. Here's the people of Walmart. Warming up is Derek Green there. Sophomore, Trent Green's son, TJ's brother, airs it out, good arm, just long there, and Rockers loses yet again. 24 to 13, final score, Bentonville, two time state champs in Arkansas get the win at the Rock. Week three of the roundup. In the books. Done. All done.